Okay, back here at the board gaming table. The game is La Reconquista, Edad Media, um, centuries 8 through 15, from Alea, Spanish War Gaming Magazine, number 34, published in November 2011. Playing the Battle of Guadaleta here, fought in the year 711. Uh, this is picking up here with the second player activations or movement. That's the Christian side here. All right, this time I'm going to remember to go in order. So first, all um, order units with Naxat markers or, or activation markers. That's what these are right here. This is what they look like up close. This is an activation marker for the Christian side. So... So, order units. I have one right here. So, oh, yeah. Order unit with a Naxot marker. Um, let's see. We have... Move here. I'm in the um, zone, of cult, zone of control of this Fura unit. Or I can move here and get in the zone of control of this Raksa unit, I think. He's going to go here enter a zone of control you have to stop I guess this comes off uh, but it goes where does it go oh it goes here I'm making this up because I want to track the number like number one now this is the end of the first units move here the uh, Muslim side has a the Muslim side has a one Archer's unit, uh, Archer's marker here, right here, and uh, he's going to use it. So he's going to roll um, three. Unfortunately, there are some there are some discrepancies about uh, some discrepancies rules versus player aid card. Which one do I go? I don't know. But it's minus one because the because the target is an order unit. Um, that's the problem. That's actually the one that isn't on the player aid card. Um, huh. Uh, I guess the English transla English translation makes sense. Um, let's see what the Spanish rules say. Uh, I think I looked this up. I think the Spanish rules correspond to the player aid card. Um, oh, never mind. Um, scratch that. There it is. Unit, the objective unit, the target unit is a Riva or Orda unit. Minus one to the fire. So, okay. Scratch what I said before. It is in the Spanish rules and it's in the English translation. So they forgot to put it on the player aid card. I think it's supposed to go right there. So we have, this is ranged combat. These are the, the modifiers, die roll modifiers. So I think it's supposed to be the first one under there. So sh there should be three here. All right, it is missing, okay. All right, so it is minus one because the target is an order unit. So this would be two, nowhere near hitting. So I'm gonna flip this over because it's used. Like that. Okay, the second unit. Okay, um, no more order units with Noxot markers. So now we go to other cavalry units with um, Noxot markers. Cavalry, cavalry. I think this is another hole. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. No, I'm sorry. This This unit that's activated can move out of the enemy zone of control, so um, I don't really see a reason to though, but this is an, another cavalry unit, so he's going to move one, two, three, um, that's the second unit, and again, the Muslims have a, a uh, archer uh, marker there for two, for the, corresponding to the second unit move, by the way, I'm interpreting all of that. <laughs> This is what I'm interpreting that the that you count in order 
throughout the turn, and turn means first and second impulses, and that the, the one and the two correspond to the first and the second units that move, uh, first and second enemy units that move. I have to emphasize I'm interpreting all of that. All right, three is not enough to get, you need a five or a six. Um, and modifications, do they apply? Um, what is that? That's an Adal unit. Um, no, no, it doesn't apply. Okay, that's the second unit. Go to the third unit. Um, oh, another cavalry unit. This is a this is a cavalry unit too. Um, I'm gonna go one two. The third unit moving on the Christian side. Fourth. Okay. This one is going to be saved. I'm going to save this one. So I'm going to add this here to the track because he's 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 not going to use it this impulse. So he's so I think it can he isn't moving. So I think his knocks out marker can roll over to the. To the second impulse. Okay, now we do combats. Um, here, this is a variable. This is Yine, so that's two against infantry. And it's just straightforward. There's not much to it. Well, uh, five is not going to be enough to get anything. Um, here, okay, this is more uh, we have an Orda unit with three attack dice right there. Um, and we definitely have some some um, let me make sure the range con you used to have range con Balagus and Bama, okay. Again I don't see those in this battle. All right, let's talk about, well, well, I guess I can roll first and then do the modifiers. Um, there are two units adjacent. Um, they're adjacent so they can battle. Battle is always voluntary. I know all of that. I can roll with one unit and add another unit, but can I, can I also just attack separately? Um, that I don't, that I haven't figured out. But I'm going to do these guys together. Order unit is attacking with the doll unit supporting. Oh, that's too bad. That's so low. That's eight. Um, yeah, I need at least a twelve. Yeah, I'm not going to get that. It's not even worth not even worth rolling. Uh, checking up on here. We have another order unit against the fur unit there. Three attack dice. There we go. Hoo -hoo. That is 16 or more. That should be a step loss. You know, only has one step loss. Let me just make sure there aren't any negative modifiers. I don't think there are any negative modifiers. No. So I do believe this is a this is a step loss. So here, three attack dice. They roll 16. 16 or more is a step loss on the enemy, the target. The furrow unit only has one step. That's the one right there. Right there, one step. So it's destroyed, and I think that's just it. Over here, we have an, uh, two Adal units actually. Uh, they have two. So now, now we have two units adjacent. Let's see about. So may, so maybe you can't battle separately because if two or more units attack one unit um you know I take oops I take that back I think units all attack separately but you also get a plus one if there is more than two units attacking the same unit. Only one, but one of them get the plus one. Who? So 
I take that back. So actually here, the order unit took the plus one here, but actually the adult unit still attacks separately. But they don't get the plus one. Seven. Um, actually, I'll get something if I get eight. So are there any modifiers that apply? Well, um, 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 if, no, that, that's the, the other side. No, okay. I needed one more to get a result. Okay. So now we come back here. So these guys are going to attack separately, but one of them will get a plus one. So we'll just start with the first one here. He'll take the plus one for the two or more units attacking. And then I don't think any of the others apply. It is cavalry against infantry, though. But that doesn't seem to have anything to do with the modifiers either. No. Hmm. They just need a high roll. Yeah, they get to 10. That's probably going to be something. So now the question, you know, I think it's implied, I think, that... Well, no, I'm sorry, it's not implied. It says under combat results, if several units attack one enemy unit, all melee combats must be solved, solved or resolved before applying the results. Oh, so actually, that is correct. That that he's not... Actually, this reminds me of uh, Royalist and Roundhead. So he attacks... What he gets is... He gets a so he gets a, a rally result. Now we get the other guy to attack. All right, so he gets a, um, a, a retreat. Okay, so I guess we do them in order, higher to lower. Rally. Basically, what do you, hmm, which order do you do them in? So, retreat is being pushed back one hex. Rally is to be pushed back three, uh, two hexes. So do you add those together? I don't know. I'm assuming, again, I will assume that they are cumulative. I'm assuming you put them together. So what it is is, now I don't know about the order though, because the rally is the attacker pushes the unit back one. Oh, whoops. I didn't realize they had a, uh... okay, this actually changes things. Hmm. Oh, I should have paid attention. Plus one is if an attacked unit has has a strength marker loss, plus one to each attacking unit. Oops, that bumps it. I think no, that bumps it up one level. So actually, it's a step loss, which will eliminate the unit. Okay, I didn't realize he had a step loss. He has the step loss marker. He only has two steps right there. So this, this second step is going to kill him. Okay. There we go. Now, um, I'm going to do something right now. The, the Muslim have lost three units. So let's figure out if that changes their archer units. Um, At the time, no, that doesn't. Um, the losses of Rito Alasuha. Oh, that's confusing. Well, I guess I figured that out at the start of the turn, not now. It's at the start of the next turn. I'll I'll determine whether whether those three particular losses will have me reduce the pool of archer uh, units that the Muslim side gets. Okay. So that was combat. Um, oh. 
Oh, I think now is when I would have taken that. That. Uh, now is when I would have taken the leftover uh, activation marker. Actually, I guess that's what I would when I would have taken both sides. Okay. All right. But anyways, that's when we have uh, what it is is. Um, uh, uh, place the remaining Noxot markers on the Alama track. So now I have one extra for the right here, one extra for the Muslim side, and one extra for the Christian side. And then, and then we replay the the phases. So it's back to player A.